Let's start with some neck movement here just to get us warmed up. So inhale in, looking up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. And we'll go through a couple of those here. And then let's do some neck rotations, looking over one shoulder, looking over the other shoulder. And let's move into some really gentle inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your arms down. We're just bringing in a little bit of new oxygen, getting things warmed up. One more inhale and exhale. Bring your arms up one more time and then bend over to your side. It helps to bring your feet together so you feel a little bit of a side stretch. And then bring your arms down, another inhale and step your feet together, bend over towards your other side. And you can look up or you can look straight ahead, whatever is more comfortable for your neck. Exhale, bring your arms back down. And a little bit of a hug here. And open up into a chest stretch. Big hug. And open up. I'm just getting the shoulders and the spine moving a little bit here. And one more big stretch open and arms down. And we're going to fold forward, hinging at the hips here. You can let your head fall, let your neck relax. And we're slowly rolling up. Let your head be the last thing to come up. Shoulder circles. Let's bring them up, back, and down. And we'll flip the direction. So we're doing forward shoulder circles here. Just a few to get things a little bit more warmed up. Now let's do a couple of deep breaths here, really just squeezing your shoulders up by your ears, holding tension, and then letting it out with an exhale. So I'm just turning to the side here for a better view for you. No need to turn, but we're going to hinge from the hips, reach down, and then we're going to walk out into the top of a plank position. You want to squeeze your glutes here, press in evenly through all your fingers. And then find yourself into a downward dog position. So you're sending your hips up towards the sky and back. Your shoulders are slightly rotated externally so you feel that opening through the armpits. And a couple of breaths here. Inhale, swing your leg up and bend your knee. You should feel a stretch through the front of your thigh and up into your belly here. And exhale, bring your foot down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Bend your left knee and open up from the hip. Another breath here. And then on your exhale, bring your feet back to downward dog and move into plank. We're going to shift back into downward dog and inhale into plank. Exhale, start to walk your feet up towards your hands. Got to brush the ferns and the leaves off here. And then we're going to start to just sway gently back and forth. And we're just trying to loosen up the neck and loosen up the upper back here. You can also bend your knees if that feels more comfortable. Inhale, hands on your knees. Exhale, fold forward. Another inhale, hands on your knees or your shin. Exhale, fold forward. Come on up to inhale again and exhale fold forward and then we're coming up to standing position so take a minute to fix your clothes grab a sip of water if you need to and then we're coming right back into it I'm going to take a step back bend your back knee and then bring your arms into cactus position let this be a time for you to open up your chest and take a few deep breaths here And then come back up to standing. We're going to send the other leg back, bend your back knee. Inhale up and exhale into cactus arm position. Open up your chest on the inhale and relax on the exhale. Coming back up to standing and bring your arms back down to your sides. 
I'm just getting in the frame here and then we're going to take one leg up, find your balance here. And we're adding a little bit of arm circles here just to challenge the balance slightly. If balance is an issue for you today, feel free to hold onto a chair or a table with your hand. And we're just mainly working the lower body here. And we're flipping the direction if you're doing the arm circles. And switch legs. So your standing leg, you should feel that hip and that glute strongly engaged to keep you in that position. So we're engaging the core here and we're making sure that we're not holding our breath. And then for the next pose, let's take a step back so that we're in um, a standing lunge position. And then you're going to pivot your back foot outwards. Coming up to warrior one here, so my front knee is aligned over my front ankle. And then we have some variations with the arms. Maybe you like to bring them behind you, maybe grabbing a strap behind you if your hands don't reach comfortably. On your next exhale, fold forward, tuck your shoulder inside your front knee. And you should still be reaching strongly through the outside of your back foot as you do this pose. And as you come back to standing, we're going to switch sides, warrior one on the other side. It's a nice strong bend through that front knee and a straight leg in the back leg. Again, clasping your hands, maybe do the opposite hand clasp from what you did last time and then exhale forward and let your shoulder approach your knee. A couple of breaths here. And then come on up to standing on the inhale. And then we're just stepping forward into a standing position. Again, no need to move where you are. I'm just getting in the frame of the camera. Moving into a Warrior Two series here. So your back leg is straight. You're reaching evenly with both fingertips in front of you and behind you. And then coming into extended side angle here, you can rest your elbow on your thigh or you can bring your hand down to the ground or to a block. Nice big inhale. You can gaze up if you'd like. And then we'll transition to a reverse warrior. So this should feel more like a side stretch than a back bend. And then let's move into triangle. So step your feet a little bit closer, straighten your front leg, tip your hip point back like it's reaching up for those trees there. And you don't need to do anything with your legs here. We're just going to transition into a straight leg reverse triangle. And we're moving with the breath after this. So as we go back into triangle, we can exhale. And as we come up into reverse triangle, we can inhale. So just try to make this smooth and flowy and nice and lovely. If you feel any pinching in your hip, you're welcome to switch hip positions. But just find some way to flow. And then gentle step forward and we'll do the other side. So coming into warrior two legs. So ideally your front heel is somewhat aligned with the arch of your back foot and your back foot is at, you know about a 45 degree angle. And you're rooting strongly through that outer lower leg on the back leg really pressing into the ground and bending your front knee. And we're coming into side angle pose here. So again, you have your options with your hand to come as low as you want towards the ground or stay tall. And then we're coming into reverse warrior here. So you should feel a side stretch and you keep some bend in that front knee. It's tempting to straighten out that front leg once we start reaching with our arm, but let's keep the bend in that knee. 
And we're coming into triangles, so you could step your left, or sorry, your back foot a little bit closer towards your front foot if this feels like too wide of a stance, or you're welcome to stay where you are. With triangle, you want to feel like you're reaching evenly towards the ceiling and then also towards the ground. So you don't want to collapse through that bottom arm. Great, so come on up to standing, and then we're going to go right into reverse triangle, so feel that nice side stretch. And then we'll exhale down into a flow here. So on your exhale, you're coming down into triangle. On your inhale, you're coming up into reverse triangle. So just connecting your breath with your movement. It's called a vinyasa. Good, last one, and then we'll step that back foot towards the front. Take a nice wide stance here, and you may have to play with your footing a little bit. Some people prefer a little bit more of a narrow stance. Um, some people need a wider stance. So let's come into a lunge here. Make sure you're not holding your breath. And you can sink as low as you feel comfortable with here. If you have a chair at home or a table at home, I'm showing an option where you can reach out and hold onto that. And then let's start a little bit of a flow. So we're moving to the side and moving to the other side, connected with our breath. You can have your arms out to the sides to challenge this or to support your balance, that is. And then turn your toes inward, send your hips straight back, and then once they've gotten back as far as they can go, then you can relax your upper back, relax your shoulders, relax your neck, and you can rest your hands on the ground or on an object on the ground. So try to let your neck be as long as it can be here, as if you could drain all the tension out your neck and out through the top of your head towards the ground. And if you'd like to take a twist, one hand goes straight in front of your face and then just open up to the side. So your hips are staying pretty steady here. They're not shifting to the side as you twist up. And then come back through center. And you're gonna come up by basically hinging with the hips. So step the feet together. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Hands at heart center. And let's gather that energy and throw it out on the exhale. So the biggest inhale of your day and exhale. Again, inhale it up. Exhale, throw it down, and shake it out, shake out your hands, shake out your legs, shake out your feet. We're going to do an airplane series here, or a warrior three variation. So the standing leg is straight, and you want to keep, keep your hips in alignment. So that hip that's furthest from the camera here should not be popping up. It should be low. It should be even with that other hip. Nice straight leg as if you could push those trees away with your heel. If you want to make this more challenging, you can send your hands in front of you. And let's transition to the other side. And if you're anything like me, you may find one side feels much easier than the other side. So just hang in there. If you fall over, just come right back into it. Make sure you're not holding your breath here. You want to feel like your core is engaged, but you're also still breathing. Beautiful. And we're going to do a split leg stance here. So you're taking your back leg back, just a little bit of a step or two. 
and we're hinging from the hips here. So we're not rounding the upper back to get here. I'm sending my hips back towards that fence behind me. My front leg is straight, my back leg is straight, but we're really emphasizing the hamstring stretch on that front leg. Okay, coming back out of that the same way we came in. And then we'll step the other leg back. So both legs are straight. You're gonna send your hips straight back and then hinge forward over that front leg. Once you've found that you can't hinge any further, then you can round your upper back and relax into it if you would like. You're also welcome to keep a more engaged version as I'm showing right here. And now I'm relaxing into it. If you have an object at home, you're welcome to rest your hands on a yoga block or other object or just on your shins. So we're going to go into an eagle pose here. I'm showing a couple of different ways to wrap the arms here. So this is a hug here. If it's not quite available to uh, cross your hands over here, well, let's do right arm over left arm. And then we're doing opposite leg over. So this one gets a little bit twisty um, and it's hard to know looking at the camera if that's my left or my right, or if you're seeing the left or the right, but just find some way to feel like you're stretching and rounding through your upper back. And you're welcome to stay stationary like right there, or you can bring this in elbow to knee and then come back up. Just make sure you're working with your breath and you're doing inhales and exhales and not holding your breath. So we gotta shake it out and then we'll try to go to the other side here. I think <laughs> probably every yoga teacher in the world gets confused about which arm goes on top here and which one we've just done, including myself. So if it feels familiar, you probably need to use the other arm on top. Um, with the legs here, we're pointing the toe down. So even if you can't wrap your foot all the way around the back of your shin, I can't do that. I'm still pointing my toe down towards the ground. So we're getting as much compression through the legs as possible. And again, just working the balance here. This is optional to do these opening and closing parts of the pose. All right, very good. Shake out your arms. And let's gather up that energy and bring it back towards the center. One more time here. Exhale. And last one, inhale. Exhale. Awesome. So the light in me honors the light in you. And we close the practice with a namaste.